What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be giving you guys my week 2 NFL predictions. So let's just get right on into this. So for week 1, I went 7 and 9. So I do want to get these like I do want to get majority of these correct. I don't want to have a, another losing week record. So I'm going to take this a bit more seriously, you know, put some actual like really like really uh, like th think about this so I can get these right. All right. So first, we have the New York Giants at the Washington football team on Thursday night. We're going to be starting with the NFC. Now, um, the Giants, they lost uh, last week to the Denver Broncos. The Washington football team lost last week to the uh, San Diego. <laughs> My bad. Los Angeles Chargers. Both teams coming off a loss, but I do feel like the Washington football team is better than the New York Giants. They have a better defense, and even though um, even though Ryan Fitzpatrick is out, and I do like Ryan Fitzpatrick, I feel like their backup Heineke is is still a really good, uh, like decent backup quarterback. They he almost really beat Brady, so I'm gonna have to, so I'm gonna go with the Washington football team on this one. Next one is the San Francisco 49ers at the Philadelphia Eagles. If the Niners defense plays like how they played in the fourth quarter against the Eagles, then the Niners are definitely going to lose this game. The only the only way the Niners can win that game if their defense plays like that is on the offense. And the offense actually looked pretty good. Jimmy Garoppolo looked pretty good in that game. However, I do see I I do I, I do think the Niners are going to win this one. Um just uh just because of how our defense can be because our defense in the fourth quarter is not what our defense was or it is not what our defense really is and I, and I don't think our defense right now is at that point where it's better than the 2019 49ers defense the Cardinals defense we saw against the Titans that was the 49ers 2019 uh, pass rush and defense. So if D Ford keeps on rolling, doesn't get injured, I feel like the Niners defense can be really, really good. And I, all, all, all it is is in the secondary now because the pass rush they can contain Jalen Hurts. I feel like they can do it, but the secondary is what worries me right now. And Jalen Hurts has a good arm. He has weapons down the field. So it's a it's a fifty fifty for me, honestly. But I do think. The Niners might, the Niners will come out on top. Next we have, next we have the Saints and the Panthers. This one's a gimme, gimme the Saints. Um, Jimmy Swinston looked really good. He did not throw any picks. So this, so so, so the Saints and the Panthers, the Panthers. We saw them against who did they play? They played the Jets and they did win, but not by a much, uh, not by much. And the Saints just blew out the Packers. So I gotta go with the Saints. They're on a roll right now. Even if even when they're away, I feel like Jameis Winston can you know do the job correctly. Next we have the Falcons and the Buccaneers. Give me the Bucks. The the the, the Falcons defense looked absolutely garbage last week. And even though teams can improve and bounce back, I just don't feel like they're going to do it against Brady and the Buccaneers. So give me the give me the Bucks and they're at home too. Next we got the Vikings and the Cardinals. I got to go with the Cardinals. The Vikings are co they're coming off a loss to the Cincinnati Bengals and they're facing a Cardinals defense that looks really really good and they're facing Kyler Murray who just came off of a five touchdown game and and the Cardinals at home Give me the Cardinals. Give me the Cardinals. Next, we have the Lions. And I, it, it's kind of like I'm speed running this. Like, I'm talking really fast. And I'm surprised that I'm doing this efficiently. But anyways, Monday Night Football, the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. The Lions in the fourth quarter looked like looked really good, honestly, against the Niners defense. And the Green Bay Packers did not look good last uh, week, I should I, I have to say. Um, uh, so, I, I, although the Lions did look decent, I'm going to have to give it to the Packers only because, you know... Aaron Rodgers had, you know, everyone has those games, you know, where they just don't perform well, and I feel like that that Green Bay is just gonna bounce back. They're at home. It's Monday Night Football. I I just feel like Green Bay is gonna bounce back. Although the Lions, I'm I won't be I won't be surprised if the Lions do win. Next, the um AFC we have the Texans and the Browns. This is easy. Give me the Browns. The Texans, although they did win, and who Tyrod Taylor is on the Texans, right? So Tyrod Taylor is the QB, and they got a weapon, Brandon Cooks. I just feel like the Browns, um, they're, they're just an all-around good team. Like, there's not really that much, there's not really, like, 
a lot you can a lot you can say about them that's bad. So and they're at home, so I'm gonna have to give it to the Browns. Next we got the Bills and the Dolphins. Give me the Bills, although they did lose to the Steelers. They are a much better team than what they portrayed against the Steelers. And I and I'm not a believer in Tua right now. He I'm I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna prove me wrong later on. But I just think the Bills are gonna come out on top. Next we got the Broncos and the Jaguars. The Jaguars, they're coming off a loss to the Houston Texans. And the Broncos are coming off. Well, I I like the Broncos. I really like the Broncos right now. I feel like Teddy. I'm a believer in Teddy Bridgewater. The receiving core is young, and I like it. Although Jerry Judy is injured, he has a high ankle sprain, I believe. I just think the Broncos are gonna beat the Jaguars. I don't. I don't know what it is. Next, we have the Patriots and the Jets. Zach Wilson versus Mac Jones. Yo, this one might be. This one might be a fun one to be honest. But I. I I honestly, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, give me the Patriots. I feel like Mac Jones is gonna outperform Zach Wilson this game. Uh, so yeah, give me the Patriots. Next, we got the Raiders and Steelers. This is gonna be a good game, guys. Watch out for this game. This is gonna be a good game. Based on what we saw from Week One, I I'm guessing that this is gonna be a good game. The Raiders and the Steelers. I, oh, shoot, man. Big, it all depends on, really it all depends on Big Ben. If Big Ben plays well, the Steelers are going to win. But if he doesn't, then the Raiders are most likely going to come out on top. They just came off an overtime win against the Ravens. You got to feel good. Although the Steelers did come off an impressive win against the Buffalo Bills. So this one's a really hard one to decide here. Shoot, I just don't really, I, I really don't want to, I really don't want to get this wrong. I'm going to have to go with, the Oakland Raiders. Now, if their defense does not play well, then this is an easy win for the Steelers, honestly, if the defense just doesn't play well. But, you know, the Steelers are, are were the worst one hundred were the worst eleven and no team ever. So I have to go with the Raiders. Next, we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens on s yeah, on Sunday. Uh, Sunday night football, right? I, I believe it's Sunday night football. Anyways, um, the Chiefs and the Ravens. Lamar play. He he got two fumbles, and you know obviously Patrick and the Mahomes and the Chiefs came back in a nice win over the Browns. To be completely honest with you guys, um, I just don't see the Ravens winning here. Oh, dude, I've picked so many teams on the road. I just I don't see the Ravens winning there. I will. I mean, I I won't be surprised if they do win, but then again. You know the Chiefs are just—they're just a good team, man. They're just—it's—it's it's hard to pick against them when, yeah, it's just hard to uh, pick against them when this is their revenge year. Next, we have the Bengals and the Bears, two teams starting with the letter B. The Bengals and the Bears. If Justin Fields play, this is a win for the Chicago Bears, but he probably won't play, so that's why I'm gonna have to give it to the Bengals. Also, the Bengals look pretty decent. Jamar Chase and that—that that Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow connection is only gonna grow. Um. Shoot, I don't actually. I don't know. I see both teams can win here. Uh, shoot. Uh, you know what? Let me go with the Bears. They're at home. They're coming off an insane loss against the Rams. Um, so give me the Bears. I feel like they're just. I I, I don't know, guys. If Justin Fields play, then if Justin Fields plays, then they're probably going to win. And I feel like the Bears' defense is good enough to stop the Bengals, especially with Joe, Joe Burrow, who looks really good. Anyways, the Los Angeles Rams and the Indianapolis Colts. Give me the Rams. The Colts look at, like their quarterback situation. I do not understand at all. Matthew Stafford and the Rams, they're going to they're, they're gonna go deep in the playoffs this, se this season, I, I feel like. So give me the Rams. Next, we have the Cowboys and the Chargers. This one's going to be a good game. Dak attack versus uh, J uh, Justin Herbert. But I have to go with the Cowboys, guys. I'm... I'm picking a lot of away teams this time, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Cowboys. Um, Dak looks, Dak is back and he looks great. So I have to go with the Cowboys, and I feel like the Chargers are a good team. Joey Bosa is really good, especially in Madden. If you guys play against them in Madden 20, you guys are gonna rage. I, like, yeah. But and anyways, yeah, the Chargers, they're, they're a good team, but I just feel like the Cowboys are gonna come back on top here. But I do see the Chargers winning. A lot of these are like, for me, are like 50-50s. Anyways, the Titans and the Seahawks. I'm going to have to go with the Seahawks, guys. Just based off of week one, dude. T m missing. Where did Derrick Henry go? I did not see that guy anywhere in that game. Um, then again, I didn't watch the full game, but I did watch the highlights. Didn't really see him, so...
Where'd he go? Also, where did Julio Jones go? So the Titans missed two of their two of their offensive weapons. So I do feel like if they come back, they're gonna do better. But again, you're you're um facing the Seahawks at Lumen Field. So um yeah. Anyways, guys, these are my predictions. Yeah. So guys, what do you think about my predictions? Leave your opinions in the comments section down below. If you guys agree with most of these, if you guys disagree, I want to hear them. If they're working, leave them in the comments section down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.